All right, let me try to do this before the wind picks up and the interference is all jacked up. Um, so first phase of the SIU apprenticeship program, it is a real slap in the face to a routine change. Um, you know, me, I was going from working like six days a week. I worked like three jobs at the time and then I was preparing for the program but at the same time, those three jobs were lenient in a sense to where I made my own schedules almost. You get to the program, you're gonna have to march in step with everybody, wear uniforms, and be at certain places, certain times, all in one group. Um, bedtime, you guys get a bedtime. I think it was like 10 o'clock, lights out. Um, but you got first phase is like 15 weeks. First two weeks are a class of vessel fam, vessel familiarization. Basically you just learn the lingo of a ship. Bulkheads become walls, doors become hatches, um, so on and so forth. The next two weeks you work in the kitchen. Now everybody complains about working in the kitchen and they say it as like slave labor or free labor i don't want to say slave labor but free labor but you guys got to remember you're getting all these classes for free they're feeding you for free they're giving you a guaranteed job when the program's done like there's no don't complain about it it's just working in the kitchen time actually goes by faster um, along with working in the kitchen, you guys have, you'll have to do certain chores. Certain chores will get done every week. Um, Saturday, there's like a weekend detail. And these chores are really, really simple. My chore for the time was vacuuming and wiping down the elevator. It took me like 30 minutes and I was done. Other chores are maybe you mop one area of a floor and a certain, certain deck or something. Um, weekend details the same thing, but usually it's an outside chore. Everybody gets split up and Typically it'll be like, okay, you ten guys pick up all the trash in this area That's all the the chores you got to do. Um, you also get jobs where If they're not assigned it's volunteer You can either do um, <clears throat> help out in the craft shop. I was a gate guard you could be a gym mo monitor, you open and close the gym at night. Uh, there's colors, put up the flag, take down the flag every day, and they actually will pay you a little extra for these jobs because these jobs can actually interfere with your studying hours. So like mine, when I was working the gate duty, I mean, those hours that I'd work the gate would sometimes be from midnight till 4 a.m. and then at 7 a.m. I had class and I didn't get out till 3 so these jobs are all up to you um, if you want to make a little bit extra money while you're there they give you the opportunity but so two weeks of vessel fam two weeks of working in the kitchen and then you're gonna do three weeks of firefighting lifeboat water survival and those are gonna be the funnest three weeks Honestly, that's hands down. You have a lot of fun um, doing the firefighting. I think I had a, I think his name was Dwayne, Wayne, Dwayne. Cool guy. I hope you guys get him. Um, so after those three weeks, you go back into the kitchen for a whole entire month. But <clears throat> that month is gonna fly by. <clears throat> excuse me, three times faster than your first two weeks in the kitchen. Because you guys will know what you're doing. Everyone will have a place. Everyone is already in the mindset. After you get out of the kitchen, I believe you're in the last three weeks or month. I'm not doing the math in my head right now. But the last class is like three weeks long or a month long. And it is vessel ops, vessel operations. And basically it's just a wrap up of you know, the 10 weeks that you were just there, nine, 10 weeks that you were just there. Make sure you retained all the information. 
Um, when I was there, they didn't do this, but I know they do it now. Back when I was upgrading, they started doing this where when you get into vessel ops, you actually get, you're not in a classroom, you're, the classroom is on a ship. And that ship now does weekend outings. So when you get in vessel ops, I guess you do like three or four days going out to sea and back just to get used to it. But phase one is all right. You know, it's hard for a lot of people, just like I said, for the routine change of either, you know, you're getting out of high school and you go into the program or you're working a full-time job and you go into the program and now you have people telling you what to do, where to be, how to dress. It's kind of a, a mind thing, but the program hands down does get you into the right mindset of working on ships. Being in close quarters with people, because um, while you're there, whatever class you're in, you guys all sleep in the same room. They're bunk bed dorm rooms, so there's like 20 bunks or something and you learn to start living with other people, you know, 15 to 20 people at a time. And it's just like being on the ship. I literally, we only have 18 people on the ship and it's a thousand feet long. It gets you to realize, you know, how you have to respect other people at times. And you can't, you can't cuss somebody out because then you guys are just gonna be all angry at each other and you have to sleep in the same room every night. Same thing on a ship. I mean, I'm all about being honest with people, but if you're gonna go and cuss someone out and be honest with them and tell them that, you know, they're a piece of crap, you gotta live and work and rely on these people for three to four months. Which means if you're in a sticky situation that guy or gal that you just cussed out might be the only one that's helping you into the lifeboat when all all hell's breaking loose <clears throat> so that's what I got I don't know what I'm leaving out um, phase one to phase two you will not leave the school phase three to phase four I'll mention this in my phase three experience phase three to phase four you will end up going home so don't forget to save some money when you get into phase two. Uh, that's all I got, I think. I hope I was as informative as you guys were hoping. All right. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm out.